Off the guys, welcome back. Uh, we are at Tumon Bay, Tumon Beach, beautiful Tumon Beach. Uh, gonna do this lunchtime walk and talk, virtual walking tour of Tumon Bay. We're right over here at the Doucet uh, Hotel. Uh, the beach is right here, beautiful beach, looking busy. I, I guess I wanna show you all these views. I haven't done a live stream in a while, and you know I love showing you. I have a lot to tell you guys and give you, uh, you know, updates and all that. But right now, let's go continue on with this virtual tour. Let's go check it out. Check out this beach. All right, guys. Beautiful day here in Tumon. I cannot stress how uh, recently I've been planning a new trip, a new uh, travel series for all you guys. And I'm excited, you know, I've been busy. So I haven't been doing live stream walks for you guys, but I've been busy. I've been showing you, uh, I've been doing other stuff and showing you guys like some past videos and making some random montages for all of you. I'm not sure if we'll get past here, we'll pass this way. But it's cool that uh, in the upcoming months, I'm going to be showing you um, more views of Manila and as well as we're going to Japan. Uh, so I've been busy working all that stuff. This is the beautiful Tumon Bay Beach. Here's, uh, I think, Sales Barbecue. Recently, they had like a thing in the news about like a police fighting a guy and bringing you guys' nose over here. But this is the beach. A lot of tourists, a lot of people. Let's go through this walk, guys. For anyone joining the live stream now or watching this just now, half a day. My name's Mark. We're in Guam, Tumon, doing this virtual walking tour here at Tumon Bay Beach. It's a very beautiful day out. A lot of tourists are back. That means Guam's economy is doing good. We're getting some tourists. Uh, Japan, uh, J Japanese tourists have been coming in. I know they just finished Oban. And it's pretty cool. See? Shout out to everyone watching. Remember to comment down below. Let me know where you're from. Say hello. Just jump on the chat and say hi. As well as don't forget to like the video, guys. We just started our live stream walk here in Tumon Bay. We're at the beautiful Deuce Hotel. I haven't live streamed in a while, but you know I love showing you guys the views. I'm not sure if it's uh, glitchy or if the live stream is stable, but let's go on with this walk. Uh, so uh, this weekend, guys, there's also a cool event that's going to happen. Let me go show you more. Uh, this event is called Maulik Fest, I believe. I have a flyer. There you go. Called Malik Fest, guys. Happening this weekend, August 26th, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at uh, Aganya. You know, it's at the Payless thing. It's near the cathedral. It's right here. These are all these cool vendors and food trucks. I figured uh, I show you guys and give you a heads up. Check it out. It's happening this uh, Saturday, I, I believe. Yeah, Malik Fest. I'll try to check it out and do a live stream walk for you guys and be there for you guys. All right, let's go with this walk. I'm seeing a lot of uh, tourists as well as uh, a lot of military. Looks like a lot of dudes over here. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a cool event right now. But shout outs to all you guys. Big shout outs. Uh, we're working our way down from Doucet. Here's Doucet Tonic Hotel. Uh, they look like there's some beach, beach volleyball. Enjoying this beautiful beach. Let's get out. Ah. Beach volleyball. Cool stuff. We got taboo bar over here. Try to get out of the way. It looks like there's they're playing volleyball good stuff beach volleyball here in Tumon I like how they brought their, their tent got a cool uh, dog here look at that dog has a life vest has its own special life vest this dog that's cool it's a shih tzu swimming into the, the water with its life vest that's cool I guess it's more busy over there in the Doucet here's Doucetani Keep walking down guys. I think I'm gonna try to 
head over to Fujita Beach this time for this walk. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this virtual walking tour that I'm doing live. Uh, I haven't done that in a while and I figured I'd be uh, not doing my job and showing the cool views and updates if I don't do it every other week. So here you go. Uh, we're just gonna keep walking and showing you these cool two month sites. Look at the ocean. The water is just, just over there. You can see people doing jet skis. If you see it, yeah, there's people doing jet skis over there. I know they take like a little cool tour that brings them out to like Two Lovers Point, which is just down there. The other day we went over there. Uh, our last live stream walk was uh, over there. It was at Gun Beach. Mark, you call the beach full. Hawaii is 50 times fuller than Guam. In Hawaii, we have a lot of people from Japan. Thanks for sharing. Aloha from Hawaii. Hey, Todd. How's it been, bro? I've been seeing you on the, the comments recently. Shout out to you. Also, uh, prayers to uh, Maui. I know there's uh, you know crazy stuff happening over there. And yeah, uh, this beach is full just because, Todd, our economy on Guam has actually suffered a big loss from COVID, from the super typhoon Maywar, and all of that. So that's why I'm very excited and I'm happy. I'm grateful I see a lot of people on the beach doing their thing and enjoying Guam's beautiful beaches. Because here on Guam, our economy is actually uh, based on tourism, especially in this part of town, uh, which is called Tumon. So that's why I call the beach full. And even if Hawaii is 50 times fuller than Guam, uh, I'm very appreciative of people coming to Guam and the tourism checking out uh, Guam and its ocean, the beach and all that stuff. So uh, this isn't about an island thing to me. It's just pretty much uh, my home, Guam, suffering from the pandemic and from Super Typhoon Maywar. So seeing a lot of people on the beach right now, it's really good for me. It's really ha it's really happy for me to see that. It just shows that our, our economy on Guam is uh, coming back from the pandemic, from Typhoon Maywar. Guam iced coffee, half a day, half a day, brother, or miss, I don't know. Uh, dude, do that. I don't know where you're from, but half a day. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream walk. We're here in the beautiful hotel of Dusitani Resort. We're on the beach right now. We're almost passing the Hyatt. Uh, there's people enjoying the beach. Very cool. Very nice to see, you know, half a day from Guam. Our beach is looking, uh, uh, right here it's empty, but it's looking busy than what I've seen the past month. So if you've got, if you want to look back at my past uh, past live streams, because we've been having some crazy times with Typhoon Maywar and stuff about, uh, you know, the beach being, actually the beach actually looking good, you know, uh, before the beach was a little messed up by Typhoon Maywar. So seeing all the progress Guam has, I'm very stoked on that, you know, look at that, beautiful. And of course there's people over there. And of course, yeah, it's not that crowded, so it's really nice having this cool like beach sand to yourself rather than having to worry about where to sit and where to put your stuff and kind of watching people pass by and hoping they don't steal your stuff, you know? Because there are sticky hands here in the beach in Tumon, you know? There's a lot of like uh, homeless people that decided to come over here and there's also some sketchy people, you know, the drug addicts that come over here and act like they're here for a swim, but they do, uh, you know, pull tourists purse. That's the sad truth, but I'm not giving you any sugar-coated stuff. That's the sad truth, and it's the real truth of some of, uh, sometimes here on Guam beaches, it does happen. So uh, if you're from Guam, you know, if you know, you know. If you're visiting Guam, I'm pretty sure uh, you guys should be aware of that. You know, there is a uh, certain people that do come and mess up people's days. But yeah. Uh, we're gonna do this walk. I'm gonna try to walk all the way over there to Fujita Beach. This is actually just called the uh, Tumon Bay. Uh, I don't think there's a special name for this beach, but they call it Hotel Beach, Hotel District, you know, Hotel District. Over here in Hyatt. Uh, big big shout outs to Hyatt. I love Hyatt Hotel. Great uh, hotel. They used to have this cool canopy with Super Typhoon Maywar to get down. So uh, I haven't been there, I haven't really seen it. They put like this uh, pop up. Uh, canopy but yeah uh, here on Guam our tourism is coming back uh, from the pandemic and from super typhoon Maywar 
and our recovery is looking good. Uh, up till now though, I gotta be honest, up till now, um, I don't have Wi-Fi at home. My Wi-Fi uh, service, uh, Docomo, they've been trying their best. They've been putting some people, from, pulled some people from Japan to come to Guam and help out with the Docomo um, you know, situation with our home Wi-Fi and landlines. So I don't got it. So I have to depend on my service, which my service here I'm using on my phone is actually uh, it's okay in certain areas, but here in Tumon, that's why also I do love live streaming and doing live walks here in Tumon is because the service is actually a little better than uh, other parts of the island of Guam. Uh, Daffy, thank you for the cool video. It makes me miss Guam more. Hey, uh, I don't know if you're, uh, when's the last time you've been to Guam, Daffy? But hey, you're overdue for a visit. Come visit Guam. Half day from Guam, from Tumon, Guam. Here at Tumon Bay. Uh, show you the beach views. We're doing this live stream walk. Uh, I'm trying also giving people updates. There's this cool uh, event happening. Um, it's gonna be at uh, Maganya. It's gonna be near the Bank of Guam and also the uh, Maganya Cathedral. It's called Malik Fest. It's gonna be pretty cool. I posted the flyer earlier, uh, so check it out. It's just rewind this video. You can catch up later. But yeah, it's called Malik Fest happening this weekend. Also, this is cool. I like how the tourists popped up a tent here and. Just chilling, you know. Right here, this part used to be all jungle, and then uh, Typhoon Mewar knocked off all these trees, so you can kind of see over where it's like near uh, uh, what's that called Burger King. But this is actually like already considered Fujita Beach. It's very beautiful. Look at that. You hear the ocean? Let's go closer to the shoreline and like maybe let you guys hear the shore. It's so calming, dude, and it's not hot. Like it's sun the sun's out. Oh, there's a really nice tropical breeze. Can you hear it? It's super beautiful, man. Relaxing too, as like if you're into that. Uh, so yeah, Fujita Beach. We're on Fujita Beach right here, guys. We're gonna take that turn over here, which will lead us towards uh, that famous pink place, pink hotel. It's like a famous uh, photo op area here. Uh, if you look straight more ahead. You can actually see Matapang Beach, that little red, uh, uh, what's that called? A little red hut for the lifeguards. That's Matapang Beach area. There's also a zoo over there. But yeah, so this live stream uh, walk that I decided to do is also giving me refreshers for live streaming, you know? Because uh, when you do live streams, it's different from when you're like, uh, editing video making a vlog or whatever live stream is like right there and then you get to see how genuine the person is it's not like uh generic it's like it's just authentic like that so this is really me this is me live streaming this is me showing you views of uh tumon and also it's getting me practice because i do plan on doing a my next uh travel series i do plan on doing live streams as well showing you uh japan showing you manila uh, later on in let's say eight weeks we'll be doing that so this is me practicing. I also gotta look at some Wi-Fi and some other stuff so I could get prepared to do live streams as well as vlogs and you know, cool montages for you guys for the channel. So if you're new to this channel, feel free to check out older videos. There's a Japan playlist, there's a Philippines playlist, there's all these other stuff. Also, you know, skateboarding and more. So I uh, hope you guys like that. We're here now at Fujita Beach. I'll show you more views. Hey, uh, Guam Ice Coffee. Watching from Japan, just visited Guam a few weeks ago. I already miss beaches there. Oh, minasan, konnichiwa. Ima wa Guam this. Demo, this beach, I don't know what beach means in Japanese, I don't know what it is, but this beach is too one. I hope you've been here, I hope you visited. Uh, over there's like more popular area with uh, the hotel district. But uh, yeah, I'll be in Tokyo. I'll be in Tokyo uh, in a few weeks. Maybe, give it a few weeks, I'll be there. Uh, I hope you have any recommendations for me for when I do go to Japan. I used to go to Japan every year for about like a whole decade, 10 years. So it's been a while. I haven't been there in a while. Hey, what's up, Frankie? Thank you for jumping into the live stream. Uh, hang loose, brother. Shaka shaka. But yeah, uh, Guam iced coffee. I'm hyped. I don't know where you're watching from Japan. I've kind of been all over Japan. So, uh, somewhat, I've even climbed Mount Fuji. There's some older vlogs from like 2011 where I, used, where I climbed Mount Fuji. It was crazy. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to visit Japan. I'll be there in like eight weeks or so. I'm very excited to show like 
Japan, Nippon. I try to I'm trying to show all that stuff. I also got to refresh on my Japanese. But uh, ima wa tanoshi, man. I'm tanoshi. I'm super happy. I'm happy. I'm just, like excited to go to uh, Japan. Also Manila, all my Filipino homies. I'm excited. I'll be there. I'll be there soon. Maybe I'll bring a board. Maybe we'll skate. Maybe I'll even skate in Japan. But I'm very excited. Uh, let's continue on with this tour enough of my face i just want to say hello to everyone watching and also you know jump in the comments and everyone that's commenting just want to say shout outs to all the interactions i'm having all right so just down there is uh hilton it's a nice place there's also a nice view there maybe the next time we'll go there uh we'll keep going oh what's up oh todd i hope Guam picks up and gets a lot of tourists to help out the population of Guam. The beaches are beautiful hey Guam. Yeah, you can actually surf here. Uh, I know Hawaii is the you know the mecca of surfing in Hawaii, but on Guam we don't have uh, the crazy shorelines here in uh, or the, the crazy swells here in Tuman. We do have a great place that I have some friends who surf. It's called Talifofo Bay, or you can call it Tali Bay. Some of my homies surf there, and that's pretty cool. And also, uh, if you want, you could also look up um, uh, Aganya Boat Basin. There's also my homies that surf over there. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if you if you know some surfers, Todd. There's a a girl surfer who her name's uh, Irie, Irie Fitz. Uh, she's also she goes back and forth from Guam to Hawaii. So uh, that's some of my f uh, friends that I've known for who surfs. Uh, right now we're here at Fujita Beach. We're gonna take this turn here into um, Fujita Road. We're gonna head straight down. There's this famous building here. That's uh, it's like a pink building. It's like famous for uh, photography for all the tourists that come here. They do it. We'll show you that look how it looks, and then we'll keep going and then probably call the live stream. So I just wanted to show you the beach and jump in and say hello. Awesome. So, this is a uh, Fujita Road. See how it became super quiet? Like there's no more shore sounds or beach sounds. It's pretty cool. This is cool. Recently, I've been seeing a lot of uh, key key trucks and mini vans and and more from Japan that came to Guam. It's a interesting trend. Um, I'm not really into it, the mini cars, but it's nice when I do see it because it does remind me of Japan. And uh, I have a big um, love for Japan. It also brought and sparked my love for uh, travel vlogging and vlogging in general. I like this road look at this there's like bamboo chilling growing over there and more so uh when tourists come here like korean tourists and japanese tourists uh there's a famous photo op it's that pink building um i'm not sure who sparked it or why it became famous maybe because it's just pink but i know people would take a lot of pictures there there's also a cool uh japanese restaurant there it's called menkui uh, I know they, they, they cook until so they're sold out and then they close or whatever, but they're very popular. So sometimes even if they're still supposed to be open on their open times, they're pretty close. They're closed if they sold out all their, their certain bowls of ramen that they tried to, uh, you know, push. This place used to be like a shady building. I know it's like a massage parlor, uh, also a strip club. I'm gonna give it to you real. That's what it used to be. And over here. Uh, I just spotted like uh, one of those Japanese Jeeps and those smaller uh, vans that I, was, I keep talking about like when I do see them they remind me of Japan. Oh, there's another small mini van that they have. It's pretty cool. Uh, it is really hot right now. So it's, it's, uh, we're on Fujita Road. It's pretty hot. And uh, I just want to say like uh, that was pretty much what I wanted to show you guys today, the beach, you know, because it's been a while. And of course, you know, I do want to show you this pink building. Uh, yeah, my hair is kind of getting all crazy, but again, I'm growing it out. See if I can hit that uh, 10 inches of hair so I could donate it to uh, either Locks of Love organization or other organizations that do make uh, wigs for cancer patients, which are kids. So that's why my hair is like this. If you're all wondering, like, why I'm not maintaining how I look, it's actually for a good cause. Uh, there we go. This is the pink building. I'm not sure what, what the hell it's called. It's probably called the pink building. Also, uh, it kind of reminds me of like certain buildings in Thailand. You know, my friend uh, Marco, Marco Rome, 
Shout out to Marco Realms. He just recently came from Thailand. I think right now he's in Malaysia. He's vlogging over there in Malaysia. But yeah, this building kind of reminds me of like uh, Thailand. Cause like he did a video where he's just walking down the street and uh, he's in Pattaya and there's all that crazy stuff. So this is a salon over here. This is called Tumon Trade Center. This is not called the Pink Building. It's called Tumon Trade Center. And this is Mankui, which looks closed. Let's go wide. Like they're doing clean and like i said they look closed probably sold out of their food already that's been cool this is also heavy hitters if you want to know what heavy hitters is uh fat boy there used to be a food truck but there's uh some good grubs here if you're here check it out you know like a little cool local food dish place two mon trade center this is that pink building this is where a lot of tourists a lot of tourists take pictures here uh, usually this is like the spot where they'll tell the photographer to stand, turn over here, and take photos. See? Look at that. I think they, this is a famous uh, spot for tourists to take pictures at. I don't know why or who started it, but the Koreans, the Japanese, and even some Chinese tourists, when they do come here, they take pictures at this spot. The pink building. Uh, we'll go continue on with this walk. We're going back onto San Vittorius Road. Just on my right, we got Bistro El Camino. It's like a Japanese infused cafe slash uh, more. Maybe I'll show you how that looks. We get out of this 0.5. Yeah, so I'll show you how this looks. And then we'll call it because it's getting hot. All right. It's called Bistro El Camino. And they have some cool stuff here. Bars, some food over here. Looks like some Italian style stuff. There you go. Awesome. And more. Over here is also the Fokai shop. Fokai shop right here. If you could, if you pass in here, if you could smell, it kind of smells like weed, good stuff. Smell o vision. Fokai shop right here in Tumon. Beautiful shop. Also, they have some cool events here, some here and there. This whole area here is cool. Shout out to the homie over there. But yeah, so here, there's some cool artwork over here. You can take a photo, some surfboards and more. And the pink building in the back. Over here you have Fusion Tavern. There used to be this cool lady, like I think she was the owner, Mama San. She would be like crazy, like she would be cool. Like if you drank, I mean, I'm sober now, but I used to drink here. This, this lady called Mama San, she would be crazy. It was wild. Fusion Tavern. I'm not sure if they're open anymore, but maybe at nighttime. And on my left here is just the Tumon police station. And uh, there used to be a cool Chinese restaurant here, which was called, uh, um, I forgot the name. Uh, I forgot the name, but now it's called a Jai Fusion Restaurant or Lee Garden. But this is, this used to be uh, one of, I can't remember the name, but it used to be have some really good orange chicken here, man. Uh, there's also food up here, which is uh, called the Green Door and more. But right here, now we're at the, San Vitoris Road. This is like the main road of Tumon. Has all the hotels lined up in this road. You could just pretty much walk this strip any way, which direction. You'll find like a ABC Mart, which is kind of like a Japanese family mart. But uh, that is our walk today, guys. Let me place this over here. Uh oh. I hope you guys enjoyed today's walk. Uh, we showed Tumon Bay Beach and also that famous pink building where tourists like to take pictures at. We're on Tumon right now. This is the famous uh, Tumon Guam hotel district where all the uh, tourists stay. This is also uh, San Vitoris Road. But yeah, thank you guys for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this live stream walk and talk and more. Uh, let me jump in the comments really quick and say hello and what's up. Mark, I would love to visit Guam someday. There's so much to see and the good food. Yeah, Todd, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, it's almost similar to Hawaii, the vibes and all that, but maybe Guam is a little smaller, smaller compared to Hawaii with all the other stuff and uh, stuff it has to offer. Guam iced tea, uh, shout out to you. Thank you for watching all the way in Japan. Kiyoskete, uh, kiyoskete. I think that means take care in Japanese, I forgot. But yeah, th thanks for watching from Japan. Todd, thank you for watching from Hawaii. This is a live stream of Guam at the moment. 
course, we're recovering from Super Typhoon Maywar. We're also recovering from the pandemic. So our economy is whatever, but it's coming back strong and I'm happy, I'm stoked on it. Also, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I'm also excited to show you all the cool stuff that's happening on Guam and more. And also my future trips is coming up and I'm super excited for that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this Saturday, there's a event called Malik Fest. Uh, I'll probably check that out. Maybe I'll do a vlog, maybe I'll do a live stream, I'm not so sure. Thank you for watching Guam Iced Coffee. Uh, please take care. Guys, thank you guys again for watching. I'll uh, catch you in the next one. My name is Mark. I do these virtual walking tours and more and skateboarding and all that stuff. I call them visual postcards of my life. Thank you again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I'm out. Take care, guys.